Hey everyone, this is Nemo and welcome to another awesome video tutorial. So today for the very first time we're going to use 30Bs instead of Price -a Shop for the demonstration. And if you're a Price -a Shop user, no worries, the modification can be applied in the exact same way to Price -a Shop 1.6 as well. Now what we're going to do in today's video is add a useful new field for products in the back office so that we can edit the product creation date effectively restating the date a product is considered new from. And this means that by changing the state, we'll be able to display the product again in the new products block, for example. Before starting, though, I should give some credit to the person who originally wrote the code, and it's um, Zimmer Media, user of the 30Bs forum. So you can also find this snippet in the forums. And by the way, if you haven't joined the forum yet, head over to forum.30bees.com. It's uh, an awesome, fresh community. And if you have any kind of issue, you can be sure you'll receive all the help you need. Now, let's get to it. As always, the best way to approach modifications is by using overrides. So in this case, we need to override the back office template for the product page. And what we're going to do is copy the original file into the override directory. So what we need to edit is the very first tab here, information. And it's um, information.tpl. So I'm going to reach admin dev in this case because I'm using a, a development version. Themes, default, template, controllers. I'm going to scroll down till I reach products and it's uh, informations.tpl, control C or command C to copy. I will go back to my 30Bs route and then I will go to override, controllers, admin, templates, and here I should create a new uh, folder named products and I will paste my TPL file inside. I will open it up and now you can add the box wherever you find convenient. I will just do as the original code and add it after the product pack container, which is more or less around here. So I will scroll down. Well, actually, I will look for a product pack container. So after the HR, which is the separator, you can see here, I will just start adding my code. So first thing I want to do is check if this product has an add date, it obviously has one, but just in case. So if product date add, and I'm gonna close the if, I'm gonna create a div with class form dash group to group as the others, this bunch of um, tags. Then I'm gonna add a label for it. And it's uh, not going to need the four, but I'm going to use class control dash label call LG3. And inside it, I'm going to add a span. And the span is going to have a class of label dash tooltip. And it's going to have a data toggle property with tooltip tooltip as content and the title of I'm going to use the translatable string here ls equals change date for um, well the original code was product new from so let's just use it um, without without quotes though, just not to break um, the code that's there. Now in the span, let's add a period as well. In the span, I'm gonna add bullet common field, which is the small orange dot you'll see if you have a multi-shop environment. And then we're gonna add again a translatable string ls new from or a date at whatever you, you like adding. So outside the span, outside the label, we're gonna add another div with class call LG3. And inside here, we're gonna add the input. 
it's gonna be of type text with ID date add which is actually the name of our field and class is gonna be date oops date picker so that we can take advantage of the built-in date picker name is gonna be date add and make sure it matches and value is gonna be product arrow date add arrow because we have an object here and uh, we're also gonna escape it just in case so escape colon html colon u uh, actually it's gonna be uppercase utf dash eight all right so we close the div we close the other div and the if you can even just space it a little more to make clear it's inside the if save go back and refresh and you can see we have this new from field now so I can change it it's gonna be new from say July 6th and all since day and you can see it's now July 6th perfect Okay, so this is everything for today's video. I hope you found it useful, and if you did, subscribe to the channel and follow the blog at nemops.com for other great PrestaShop tutorials and tips. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.